Hey there, and welcome to Real Investment News. I'm Mike O'Neill. The closing bell has sounded. The markets were all a little bit lower, a little flat today. The Dow was down about 30 points. The S&P was down just six points, and the NASDAQ was down about 20 points, as you can see, but as far as the percentage of a change, not a lot of movement. Um, as we've said, the reason that the market has actually been climbing so steadily this year is because investors were hoping that Congress would be able to pass a tax reform bill and cut the corporate tax rate before the end of the year. And while the Senate and House Republicans are doing all they can to make that happen, there may be a new wrinkle. The Senate's bill might also include a provision to lift the N individual mandate requirement from the Affordable Care Act. Now that is essentially the penalty that people have to pay if they don't have health insurance. The Congressional Budget Office says without it, millions more could go uninsured. That's going to start a new fight and you can just be sure that we're going to be watching to see what happens. And just a few minutes ago, the CEO of Curic apologized for the way the company announced its decision to pause advertising on the Sean Hannity show on Fox News. The company announced the decision on Twitter after Hannity had interviewed Alabama senatorial candidate Roy Moore about those sexual misconduct accusations. Not only did some Hannity fans Fans call for a boycott, some posted videos showing them smashing their Keurig coffee machines. But in a memo sent to employees today, CEO Bob Gamgort apologized, saying that announcing the pause on Twitter was not standard procedure and made it look like the company was choosing sides. The memo did not say if Keurig would resume advertising on the show. Sean Hannity, for his part, he says he did accept the apology and actually handed out 500 Keurig machines to his fans. But we still don't know if those advertisings are going to resume. Tomorrow, we are going to be getting earnings reports from Best Buy and Target before the bell. Now, Target stock, take a look right here. Target stock is actually down about 17% for the year. The entire retail sector is hurting, thanks in large part to Amazon. We will have those results when they come in. Thanks again for watching Real Investment News. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you tomorrow morning.